Now, those of you that watched the NXT review last week know that I was very hard on the show, and I was very hard on the WWE. And let me clarify a couple of things here really quickly. Number one, an hour of nothing but wrestling is not good, period. The fact that you say that this is a developmental territory and that excuses that in any way is not accurate in my opinion. And part of the thing with this being a developmental territory is you would think in theory that you'd be developing, developing excuse me, those talents uh, for what they will experience eventually down the road. Now, if you envision all of them of being undercard or midcard performers in the WWE, then frankly, yeah, they probably will only ever have matches and will never really have a story. And again, that is part of the troubling concern that I have with this is the fact that there's such an emphasis on the in-ring aspects, which is nice and all. I'm glad that the show emphasizes the in-ring product first and foremost. But just like anything else, too much of any one thing is not good when it comes to professional wrestling. I think sometimes we forget about these type of things. And Variety is a spice of life, and we need some type of potpourri, some type of flavor, if you will, a bit of a mixture of things also to teach these guys how to actually work in storylines, how to conduct themselves appropriate to the storyline, how to advance the storylines, you know, how to actually be able to carry a storyline to where it could potentially draw some money. These are the things that NXT is supposed to be doing. And last week when I looked at the show, it was doing none of that. I thought it was just bad. It was just an hour of, you know, so-so wrestling. And this week's show, I'll say this, is that it was better. It was much better. It was a much easier sit-through because, in part, they did more things to shake it up. You know, it wasn't just matches. There were actual several attempts to try and tell a story, you know, and try to have some type of feud, some type of rivalry. Whether it be a backstage confrontation between Tyler Breeze and the NXT champion Adrian Neville, you know, was it great, the confrontation? No, not really. But did it at least plant the seed of there being some type of feud? Did it do something different? Yes, it did. You know, you have uh, the BFFs, and they're kind of starting to splinter here with Charlotte being the champion and Summer, or not Summer Ray, excuse me, Sasha Banks is kind of getting her under her skin a little bit. You know, again, an attempt to tell a story here. I like what they did with C.J. Parker, you know. While I think it's ridiculous that you have this kind of hippie um, flower pusher, this pencil-pushing, tree-hugging, hippie crap type of guy with the name of C.J. Parker, I like the fact that they were actually not just putting him in a match, but then afterwards he was actually going after somebody and attempting to engage in some type of rivalry with a Xavier Woods. Again, giving some of these matches purpose and reason. And I don't see, and again, to some of you that disagreed with me last week, I posed this question to you. What is so wrong with a match having some reason and some purpose for actually happening? Wouldn't that add to the match? Wouldn't that make the match mean even more and potentially make it even better outside of just the in-ring aspect of it again and you know you look at the main event of this show i loved the main event and the setup to the main event and you know, the main event was going to be justin gabriel versus adrian neville and what i like was beforehand you're doing the sit down interview with tyson kidd and you're trying to develop something there with him going in a different direction with this character and he's actually doing an okay job of it you know you're planning to see that natalia maybe runs the pants wears the pants in the family and that Tyson Kidd doesn't like that, and he wants to be his own man. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, why couldn't you ever give a Tyson Kidd this type of opportunity on the main roster to sink or swim and see what happens with him? I thought the sit-down was executed very well. I love the seed that it planted. You know, they're tying him to Justin Gabriel and teasing something that's going to happen. You know, so then you get to the main event and you sit there, and it's actually, excuse me, it's Justin Gabriel versus Sami Zayn. And, you know, you've got different story elements worked into the match. This match got plenty of time, the appropriate amount of time for a main event on a regular show. Just as it was getting to the point of where I thought this is going to be too much match and this is going to go too long, the match ended and it ended in the appropriate way. And then afterwards, here's Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel turning heel. Here's Adrian Neville coming out to make the save with Sami Zayn. You know, there were a lot of good things done on this week's show. I thought this week's NXT 
was so far and away superior to last week's show. You know, and let's face it, you're going to get a number of enhancement matches on these shows every week. That's just part of the deal. Not every match is going to have a meaning or a purpose or a significance, and I understand that, and I'm fine with that. But what happened last week with having no matches of any real consequence or significance, no real story at all to the show, period. It was just an hour of wrestling, and that is it. This week was so much better and had me so much more engaged and actually left me wanting a little bit more. And I loved the heel turn of you know Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel. And what I like here is that you're taking guys from the main roster where they're not being utilized. You're bringing them down to NXT where they could hopefully help teach guys like Adrian Neville and Sami Zayn how it works at the WWE level at the main roster and you're elevating them to get in the ring with people that are better than them from a WWE standpoint anyways and it hopefully helps make them better. You know, NXT doesn't have to be perfect every week. The good thing about it, again, like always, is that it's only an hour long. But I thought this week's show was a much easier sit-through than last week's show.